Now the next little project I mean meaning to finish off is, is this neck mechanism. I uh, printed this again last summer. This is the uh, drop uh, uh, neck which I'm not going to use on, on the head. I'm, I'll probably try it out on the head. I'm just going to see what it's like and just keep it as a standalone neck. But I've, I've printed it and sort of started assembling it and um, and wandered off onto other little projects. So uh, I thought I need to get this out of the way because um, it's just sitting in a plastic bag full of bits at the moment. So I've got the servos for this. I've now got a um, an EZB controller unit, which I didn't have a spare one last time to control it. So I've got no excuse. Uh, um, to not to put it together and um, test it out. So I'm just going to tidy up these parts, give them a bit of a clean up. I started, as I say, I started doing it, started assembling bits and pieces, just um, get rid of the the, uh, the the burrs on it all, and um, look up how it all went together because uh, I can't remember how it went together at all. But uh, I'm sure I can uh, hunt that one out. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so um, I'm having quite a bit of success putting the uh, the drip neck together. Uh, once I'd uh, worked out, um, once I'd found his website actually, and uh, worked out how it all actually does go together. So um, this is what I've done so far. You can see there's there's three uh, rings inside. If you if you know the the, the system, you'll it'll make a bit more sense. But you've got three consecutive rings inside. One goes inside the other. So you've got uh, inner. There's an inner ring, a middle ring, and an outer ring, and then you've got sleeves that effectively go over each one so you've got the outer ring sleeve there the the middle ring sleeve which is this one here and then you've got the inner ring sleeve which is which is that one and they just slot in so there's three consecutive um tubes go inside each other and then on the next the next bit i've had to i've i've done it slightly the reverse of the way um it's done on the on the pictures only because I didn't have uh, washers which were big enough but I did have some uh, these are M5s uh, some nut heads that sat in there uh, and I've just cut out a little bit inside but you'll see if you assemble this yourself you'll see what I mean but um, and put a nut and a bolt inside so I've just done a little bit of shaving off to get these bits to fit properly um, and if I just tighten this up hold on a second I've just got to put another couple of self taps in there, but the way the way it'll work is depending on which ring is being rotated underneath, it goes into various different positions. So that's the uh, that's the idea anyway. So you can see that that will just rotate at different heights. There's the sort of you know, that's that'll be a swivel. So the next section I've got to do is. Uh, is the base which takes the uh, servo motors and the various small little gearing uh, and, and such like and other bits and pieces which I haven't quite worked out how to go how to go together I've, I've had the, the Dremel out and just <laughs> trimming a few bits and pieces I didn't actually have quite the right nuts and bolts for it so I've managed to uh, get it to go together with the, with the bits I've got so it's all it's all ascending rather well actually um, it's rather fun so I will continue uh, putting it together okay so what I've done now is I've mounted the uh, three servos on the base plate I just eased the uh, these holes out by a couple of mil just to sink the, the self taps into I didn't split anything um, I took them out by about two three mil I think it was something like that anyway just to so these would sit in without shattering the plastic um that was not quite straight I'll just move that one gotta line it up a little bit um the next thing is you've got these little um um different height gears to go on I've got um I've just used the the bases which I think you're meant to do of the the servos Again, I've made these holes in the in the in the black bit uh, up three mil, I think it was three and a half mil, so I can get these small little screws in straight. You can just see it on the side there. So effectively, I've just made these, you know, pre-made holes just bigger, because because the the four holes in the in the base of these were just a little bit too uh, near on the inside. Um, so that will just go in. Space. 
like so. Just got to put the the um, small little screws in the heads there, and uh, then th it's, this will mount onto there. So uh, that'll be my next bit. Okay, so I've uh, pretty much uh, finished uh, constructing it, and it is uh, it's a work of art. Actually, it's absolutely beautiful. There's um, I've got a few, probably a couple of bits more to do. I see I've still got to put a a uh, tightening uh, um, screw in there just to tighten up that top top piece and hold it all together but um, I've got the uh, show you that I took this one off just so I could slide it in I found with that one in it was just a bit bit tricksy just got to that's not quite straight in there so I've just uh, I'm it's I haven't lined up these um, these servos at all so I'm going to take the whole thing apart and make sure they're all at 90 degrees which I assume is probably the way I don't know what they are at the moment they're just straight out of the box these are the easy B <coughs> sorry these are the easy B servos which I've um, been using recently so they seem pretty good but just so you can see so there's three servos these three different sized um, gears it's just got to sit in there a little bit so I've just got to straighten that one up um, each hitting a different uh, uh, gearing inside and that is really really nice there's I think um, on the drip site there's some specific um, code for this uh, um, which I haven't looked at but I, I, I have seen a comment on on the easy be web pages that they've got their own there is some there's a some code um, rather than just writing it itself, which I'll look at. So I'm not going to do anything uh, coding with this at the moment, uh, but this was just wanted to put this together. And um, as I said, I'm not going to straighten up these because I'm going to take these off and just set these to 90 and uh, just got to give it a little bit more um, file down, but uh, just get some of these rough edges off. But I think that's absolutely beautiful. I'm really, um, really, uh, really pleased with that. Okay, so I've, I was just looking at the drawings again. And um, I can actually mount this onto the head. It's, as I say, it's only temporary at the moment, but uh, I'll just show you how it would go on. Um, I've, I've re-drilled a hole, not that hole, but I, moved, I put another hole further. Yeah, you can see that. Um, further in, uh, which appears to be the way a couple of drawings have got it. It's, it's a bit unclear, but it would just mean I can use this existing base and it would line up line up like that otherwise that would be too far forward and would start pulling so that should I've just drilled that out uh, to uh, I think it's eight mil or whatever I'll get eight mil Put it in there as a temporary, uh, so it looks like. And that is what it's going to. As it's all, it's, nothing's tightened up at the moment, so I don't want to put too much uh, pressure on that. It's going to take quite a bit of. Um, um, force that's pulling up slightly so I can see why that's got a um, a screw to go through in the back there you can just see it goes goes through to, to lock that collar off um, these need all tightening up because they're only just uh, hand done so there's quite a bit. There's quite a bit of um, leverage on uh, leverage on that, but it clearly does work. Because uh, just hold it like that, and it does look absolutely fantastic. I've got to say, it's a very interesting um, way to do it. So I just thought I'd show you that uh, just uh, before I take it all apart again and uh, give it a tidy up and redo the bolts and various other bits and pieces. Um, oops. Well, that is the drip neck.